Well, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is your Journey Yoga. Feeling a little out of sorts, grumpy a little bit. Um, mind just not in a great space. Maybe you've had a bad day. Maybe you had a bad couple of days. Guys, let's shake it off. Um, so I'm glad you're here. Thanks so much for trusting me in this part of your journey. And today, really, it's just a full body stretch to really kind of change that attitude and shake off that negativity. All right, so let's find a seated position that feels good to you and give those shoulders a good roll up and back. And let those shoulders slide down and away. Don't judge, guys. We have bad days. We get grumpy. It's all good. Roll those shoulders up and back. And again, just let them slide down and away. Let's shake those arms as we lift them. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about whatever it is that's heavy on your heart, heavy on your shoulders, heavy in your head. And then shake those arms down. And as you shake, let it go. Clear it away. We're going to do that one more time, taking it up. Close your eyes, think about whatever it is, and then see you just flicking it off the end of your fingertips as you take it down. And then gently relax your hands down by your sides. Sit up nice and tall, keep those eyes gently closed. Press your palms down towards the earth. Feel the length in your spine, the calm of your breath. As you exhale, release the chin down towards your chest. So oftentimes, when we're carrying some extra tension, some negative energy, it can settle into our neck, shoulders, hips. We're going to let it go wherever that stuff is hiding. Free it up. Send it out into the universe to be transformed into something positive and useful. Inhale, head up nice and tall, and as you exhale, turn and look out over your right shoulder. A little duck of your chin down towards that right collarbone, and we're going to press that left palm down towards the ground. So, yep, we all have bad days. Every now and again, we get stuck in a funk. Okay, you are the captain of your ship. And you can set the course to get out of that funk. Inhale, lift your gaze. Turn it back to face front. And then slowly turn your gaze and look out over that left shoulder. A little tuck of your chin down towards that left collarbone. And then press that right palm down towards the ground. So as we set that course to get out of our funk, one of the best ways to do so. Think about something funny. Somebody funny. Whether it's somebody in your life, the comedian, a movie you've seen in the past, recently, whatever. But something funny that just brings a sense of lightness to your heart. Maybe even a giggle. A smile. We lift our gaze and turn it back to face front. And we lean that right ear towards your right shoulder. Lift that right shoulder towards your ear, roll it back, and then press that right palm down towards the ground. And now you're left. And as you think of that, something funny. Maybe it's just something you saw, a heard. Maybe it's something you did. Sometimes those are the best. Laughing at yourself, oh my gosh, good medicine. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And exhale, lean that head to the left. Lifting that left ear towards your shoulder, roll it to the back, and then press left palm down towards the ground, and then the right. We need to be able to laugh at ourselves. Keeping a sense of humor, guys. Ah, oh, what a gift. Because when we can laugh, we can let go. We can reset. And we don't give the power to that negative energy to draw us down, pull us down into that funk. We rise above, we smile, we hold our head high. That is amazing. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And let's walk those hands forward. Mm, all right, let's see if it's settled into those hips or into that lower back. Still haven't found that smile, guys. Hold on, it's all good. It's coming. And just breathe. 
Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk those hands forward just a little bit more. Press your tailbone down towards the earth and just let your head be heavy. My daughter just got a new kitty yesterday and oh my goodness, is he cute. And fun E. Oh my goodness, little playful bugger. Inhale, circle those hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms up and overhead. As you exhale, turn to the right. Little tap of the fingertips. Inhale, reach back to center. And exhale up into the other side. And we're going to do that two more times each side. I just keep thinking of that little furry face. Oh my gosh, so cute. Inhale, reach. If you got an animal, yeah, those guys will keep you light and happy. Talk about just furry love balls, whatever they are. Or maybe they're scaly love balls, if you're a reptile person. One more time, each side. But there is love and happiness all around us, guys. We just got to look for it. Release that right hand down, left arm up and over. We're just going to sway side to side, once each way. Uh, letting go, freeing it up. Inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, pull those elbows back and down. Lift your gaze to the sky. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, release those arms down by your sides. Let's crisscross the other leg in front. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, release that right arm down. Left forearm crosses the crown of the head and gently pull your head to the left. Relax the weight of your hand and press that right palm down towards the earth. Yep, we're going to let go of all that negative energy in the neck and the shoulders. We're going to work our way through the body. We're going to let go of that negative energy in the hips and the lower back. Inhale, extend left arm, switch sides, right arm up, left arm down, cross the crown of the head and gently pull to the right. Relaxing the weight of that right hand and pressing that left palm down towards the earth. What's going on in your world? Springtime. Such a beautiful time. Yesterday was our first day that felt super warm and super good. Got another one today. I'm so excited. Inhale, extend right arm. And then the left. Lengthen and hinge it forward. Release your hands. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Breathe. One thing, guys, when we have a bad day, when we stay focused on the negative, we get more of it. So really working to find that positive energy around us, those positive people around us. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk those hands forward, and then really sit down once again. Because kind of whatever we put our focus on is what we're going to find more of. Focus on what's good, transformations, winter to spring, snow to sunshine. Inhale, circle the hands back by the hips, big circle those arms up and overhead. As you exhale, rotate to the right, little tap of the fingertips. Inhale up nice and tall, and exhale, rotate to the left. A little fresh air is always good for the soul, too. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, rotate it open. One more time. Inhale, reach. And exhale, twist. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, release that right arm down, left arm up and over. Two flows side to side. Inhale, reach. And exhale up and over. Inhale, reach. Both arms come up. Spread your fingers wide. Exhale, pull it back and down. Open up that chest to possibilities, to love, to friendship. Inhale, reach to the sky and gently release those arms down by your sides. Let's turn and come up onto all fours to a tabletop position. Hands are shoulder width apart. Knees are hip width. Core is nice and strong. Let's tuck those toes and lift the knees just an inch off of the mat. 
Find your breath. We're going to twist side to side. As you exhale, take the knees to the left, hips to the right, as much as you like, and come back to center. Taking it to the other side, knees to the right, hips to the left, and coming back to center. Let's do that one more time each side. Twist and hold, and back to center, and twist and hold, and back to center, and extend those legs. Shift your weight back towards your heels, feet or hip width apart, head heavy, face is soft. Inhale it back to that hovering tabletop. Hold that bare position, that hovering tabletop. Let's take one step forward with your left hand and your right foot. And step it back. Right hand, left foot. And step it back one more time each side. Left hand, right foot. And step it back. Right hand, left foot. And step it back. Lift those hips. Extend those legs. Allow the heels to sink. Inhale, bend both knees, draw the thighs towards your tummy, and exhale, extend those legs. That felt pretty good. Let's do that again. Inhale, bend, and exhale, extend one more time. Inhale, bend, and exhale, extend. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Soft bend in the knees, relaxing the weight of the upper body. A little shift of your weight forward and back, just kind of playing with your body position, with your weight distribution, and just feel what goes on as you shift the weight. What's happening in those feet? What's happening in the ankles? What's happening down the backs of the legs? <laughs> those hamstrings, your calves, and just center your weight. Bring your hands to your elbows and hold on. And gently sway side to side. And breathe. Coming back to center, release your arms. And let's slowly, slowly roll it up. One vertebra at a time, we ragdoll our way all the way up to mountain. Take your time. Big shoulder roll up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Do that shoulder roll once more. Those shoulder shrugs are amazing at letting go of tension and tightness in the shoulders. As we stand tall, close those eyes. Give those arms a shake. Twice. As you lift those arms overhead, feel any of that negative energy again just flicking right off of the tips of the fingers. And again, we take it down. Close those eyes. Just shake it out. Let's do that once more. Ah, uh, just let it go. Negative energy disappearing. Strength and awareness coming to us. Focus and being present right here. And let those arms just hang. Give those shoulders a good roll up and back. Let the shoulders slide down and away. Open those beautiful eyes, palms face front. We engage all of those amazing muscles throughout the body to our mountain pose. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Take a giant step back with your left foot. Back knee can come to the mat if you like. Otherwise, knee stays off and we circle those arms up and overhead. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Stay low. Lengthen through those fingertips and slowly begin to hinge it forward to a nice long horizontal line or diagonal line. Rotating your palms towards the ground. Reach it out. And exhale, pull it back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Draw those elbows back. Inhale, reach it out, that diagonal line. And exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. And exhale, pull. Stay back. Bring the hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers. And relax the weight of your head into your hands. Inhale it up nice and tall. Arms extend overhead. Flow forward. Left hand to the inside of your right foot. Rotate your body. And extend right arm to the sky. Reach it up as high as you can reach. Circling that right arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. Roll that right shoulder back even more. A little deeper rotation. Ringing out any negativity. 
in that back through the spine. Inhale, extend right arm to the sky. And exhale, releasing that right hand down. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Feet are hip width apart. And we're just going to alternate bending knees. Walk it out. Find your breath. Inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And exhale, let your heels gently sink. We inhale it to high plank. Exhale it to down dog. Reach that left hand back towards that right foot. Inhaling it to high plank. Exhale to down dog. Reach that right hand back towards that left foot. And inhale it back to plank two more times. Each side. Reaching back just as far as you can reach. Maybe it's your thigh. Maybe it's your toes. Whatever it is, my friends, celebrate it. You're moving. That body's working towards optimum health. We inhale it to high plank, toes or knees. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. And that optimum health, guys, is mental, physical, emotional. It's about taking care being present and really doing what's right for you. Let's sway those hips side to side. So on those days you need a little TLC, a little quieter time, take it. Be gentle, be kind. On those days when you need a little butt whooping, <laughs> take it. Make it happen. And if you decide halfway through that wasn't the best idea, switch it up. Find that TLC. But just take care of yourself. Don't be too judgmental, critical. Show yourself some grace. Coming back to center. Taking the gaze between your hands. Walk those feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. As you exhale, left arm comes down, right arm reaches high. Lengthen and extend from fingertip to fingertip. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, other side, right arm down, left arm high. Lean in and reach. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Back knee can come down if you like. Otherwise, knee is off. And we circle those arms up and overhead to our crescent lunge. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Stay low. Lengthen and reach. Hinge it forward again, finding that diagonal line. Turn your palms down towards the ground. Spread your fingers. Inhale, reach it out. And exhale, pull it back. Inhale, reach it out. And exhale, pull it back. Feel that strength in that upper back. That release through the shoulders. Reach it out. And pull it back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach it out. And pull it back. Hold. Bring the hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers. Let your head be heavy into those arms. Feel that stretch across the belly, across the chest. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Extend those arms to the sky. Flow forward. Right hand to the inside of your left foot. We rotate and reach. Left arm to the sky. Reach up as high as you can reach. Lengthen and extend out of that left shoulder. We circle that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back, and then we just gently pull that left shoulder back just a little bit more for that deeper rotation. How's your breath? Once again, extending that left arm to the sky, slowly releasing that left hand down. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog, inhaling it to high plank, 
Breathe, releasing that left knee to the mat. If you like, otherwise legs stay long. We rotate to our side plank and extend right arm to the sky. Now your feet can be staggered or you can stack them. Find your breath. Coming to wild thing, we lift that right leg, bend that right knee, place it behind you about knee height, reach to the sky, and then reach it up and over, lifting the belly, lifting the chest, breathe slow and steady. Inhale, reach that right arm to the sky, slowly transitioning back to your side plank, releasing that right hand down. We come back to plank. Lift your hips to down dog, holding your down dog, or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile. Press it through up dog, and exhale to down dog. And we take it to wild thing on the other side. Inhaling it to high plank. Releasing that right knee to the mat if you like. Otherwise, legs stay long. We rotate to that right hand. Left arm to the sky. Reach it up. Ending on those feet can be staggered or stacked. Lengthen and reach through those left fingertips. We lift that left leg. Bend the left knee. Place it behind it about knee height. And then take it up and back. Reach, gazing out overhead. Find your breath. Inhale, slowly lifting that left arm back to the sky, rotating it back to your side plank, releasing that left hand down. We come back to plank, lift your hips to down dog. Shifting your weight to your left hand, right hand reaching across to that left leg. Take a hold anywhere along the leg you like, and then look out underneath that left arm and breathe. Finding that breath. Releasing the right hand, gazing back between your feet. Shift your weight to your right hand, left hand to the right leg, anywhere along that leg you like, and then turn and look out underneath that right arm. Can you find that smile yet? I hope so. Releasing that left hand. Breathe, shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot to the outside of your right hand. Toes are slightly turned open. Left foot to the outside of the left hand. We come to frog pose. Nice flat back. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, extend your legs. Let your upper body be heavy. Again, inhale, bend the knees, lowering down to frog. And exhale, extend. One more time, inhale, bend. And exhale, extend. Holding here, bringing the hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers, rolling those shoulders up and back. Lift your hands towards the sky. Breathe. What are you feeling where? A little tuck of your chin up towards your chest, letting go of any tension in the neck, in the spine. Slowly bringing the hands to the small of the back, gently releasing those arms, let them hang, and ever so slowly lowering back to frog, or if you wish, coming all the way down to your yogi squat or garland pose. Finding that breath. Letting go through those hips. Breathe a little sway side to side, whether you're in frog or your yogi squat, just a little sway, loosening up those hips. Breathe. Coming back to center, release your hands, lift your bum up to frog, step your right foot back, and then your left to plank, crocodile down. Press it through up dog and exhale to down dog. Breathe, we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot to the outside of your left hand. 
Right foot to the outside of the right hand. Back to our frog. Breathe, holding here. Strong through the belly. If it feels right to you, extend your arms out to a T. Lengthen and reach from fingertip to fingertip. A little more intense as we take those hands away. Sweep the arms back to flight. Turn your palms to the sky. Roll those shoulders back. Breathe. Spread those fingers. Circling those arms back out to a T. We pull those hands to heart center. We lift the chest and lower the bottom. And let's rise. Reach to the sky. Interlace your fingers, press your palms to the sky, and exhale, arch it back. Oh, stretching through the belly. Alive, beautiful body. Inhale it back up. Hands to heart center. And we sink. Sliding down that wall. Releasing your hands. Lift your bum to frog. Step your left foot back. And then the right to plank, crocodile down, press it through up dog, and exhale to down dog. We take the gaze between the hands and walk the feet in to forward fold. We shift our weight to our left foot, centering those hands out in front of that left foot, right toes to the sky. Go ahead and open up those hips and lift that right leg just as high as you can get it. Find your breath. Taking your gaze out in front of those left toes. We bring that left hand to the left ankle if you wish. Right hand to the ankle if you wish. Finding that breath. Feeling all of those muscles working. Releasing your hand, slowly leveling out the pelvis, and sweep that right foot out to the side. Flex your foot. Making a 90-degree bend with those legs. Core is strong. And slowly release that right foot down. Shift your weight to your right foot. Shift your hands out in front of that right foot. Left toes to the sky. Drawing your nose towards your knee. Go ahead and open up those hips. And lift that left leg just as high as you're able. We take our gaze out in front of those right toes. Right hand to the ankle. Only if you like. Feels right to you. Left hand to your ankle. And breathe. Releasing your hands. Leveling out the hips. And sweeping that left leg out to the side. Flex your foot. Breathe as we work to level the hips. Ooh, that's intense. And then slowly release it down to forward fold. Breathe. Bending the knees, lowering your bottom down. We shift our weight to our left foot and extend that right leg, reaching left fingertips down towards the right toes. And release your hands, pull it back in to forward fold. Exhale, bending your knees, lowering down, shifting your weight to your right foot. Left leg extends, right fingertips reaching down towards those left toes for your pistol squat. Releasing, hand to mat, extend those legs to forward fold. Let's do that one more time each side, bending the knees. Shooting that right leg out. Draw it back in to forward fold. Bending the knees. Shooting that left leg out. Lifting the hips. Drawing it back in to forward fold. This time bend both knees. Lower down. Safely come down onto your bottom. Ah, let's turn. And extend right leg off to the side, pulling your left foot out and away from you and flex your foot. Sit up nice and tall, taking that right leg, crossing it up and over the left. And that little divot kind of between your ankle and your heel, place it right on that inside of your knee. 
and we're just going to work to let those knees gently come towards the ankle. So ankle over knee, knee over ankle, and sit up nice and tall. Now this is a pretty decent hip stretch. So if the knee is up really high, it's okay. Just let it be. If you're stacked and it's effortless, celebrate that. So here, holding a little bit of tension in the hips, totally normal. Don't judge it. It's all good. We're just going to work to let it go. So close those eyes. Sit up nice and tall and breathe. Fire log. It's all about working to let go. We're not forcing anything. We're letting that body just gently melt. If it feels right to you, bring your hands forward in front of your shins. You'll know right away. And if it's not right, just back off to where you were. If it feels right to you, go ahead and walk those arms forward. Releasing the weight of the upper body down. Be mindful of the knees. Be mindful of the hips. Be kind. And just breathe. Let's go ahead and walk those hands back up. Take a second and just notice, has that space lessened? Has that intensity lessened? Has your breath gotten a little bit easier? I hope so. Can you find that smile yet? I hope so. If you're like, I had it and now I can't find it again, we'll get it again. Rock it back to the point where you can release those legs. Oh, extend it out long. Flex your feet. Reach to the sky. Hinging it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your head. And just breathe. Inhale. Reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. And release those hands down by your sides. Let's take that left leg off to the side. Right foot crosses out in front. Shin making a nice straight line across the top of your mat. And then we bring that left leg up and over and again. That little divot between your ankle bone and your heel. Bring it just to the inside of your knee. And we want to stack the ankles and the knees. And you might notice that one side is a little more forgiving in the, in, than the other. Just fine. Don't judge. Just breathe. That left hand can rest on the knee. Again, we're not forcing anything that's not ready to happen. I just want you to feel the love. If you're like, this does not feel like love, back off a little bit. I want it to feel challenging. I want you to feel that good stretch, but I don't want you to feel pain, okay? So we just want to feel the body surrender in. If it feels right to you, bring your hands forward. And again, it may or may not on this side. If it doesn't, back off. If it feels okay, start to walk those hands forward and relax the weight of the upper body down. You're going to feel your hips initially tighten up. They will relax. Give them just a second. Focusing on your breath, each inhale and each exhale. Each exhale carrying away any tension. All the inhales, drawing in loving energy, health, and well-being. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. Take a second. Did that space shrink? Did the intensity lessen? Is your breath a little bit easier? Still pretty intense. Yeah, I'm with you. I feel it. Go ahead and rock it back. Oh, and extend those legs. Let's shift so that we're long way on our mat. And flex your feet. Reach to the sky. Hinge it forward, lengthen, and release. Heads heavy, spine long. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Lower those arms to shoulder height, soften the feet, and slowly roll it back. Take your time. And relax. Let's draw that right knee in towards the chest. Bring the hands to the shin, just below the knee, and pull it in. Rolling the ankle, pointing and flexing the foot. Wiggling those toes. 
Let's extend that right leg, shift your hand behind that right leg and just gently pull it in. Foot can be soft or if you're wanting a little more intensity, flex your foot and just feel that long stretch all the way down the back of that right leg. And gently bending that right knee, softening your foot. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee, and gently pull your leg across your body, keeping both shoulders on the floor best you can, and turn and take your gaze out over that right arm. Ah, getting rid of that tension in the lower back, feeling that great stretch across your bum, down that IT band. Letting go of any tension in your neck, the shoulders. Just breathe. Coming back to center. Placing that right foot, extending the leg out, and just release it down. We pull that left knee in, hands to your shin, just below your knee. Pull it in nice and tight. Point and flex your foot. Roll the ankle both directions, wiggle those toes, whatever you need to do for the foot, for the ankle. Just check in mobility. Mm, feels good. And then extending that left leg, transferring those hands behind that left leg. Soft foot, unless you'd like a little more intensity, then flex your foot and you will definitely feel that intensity increase down the back of that left leg. Pulling with those hands just as much as feels right to you. Kindness, awareness, consistency. Did you find that smile yet? I hope so. And gently release, bending that left knee. Left arm extends out to a T. Right hand pulling that left knee across your body. We keep both shoulders against the earth as you turn and take your gaze out over that left arm. What did we learn? Coming from that place of meh to hopefully one with a smile on your face and feeling a little bit lighter. That there is medicine in movement. The gift of being present and the power of shifting your energy. How cool is that? Pretty amazing. What was that funny thing that you thought of to help bring you out of that slump? Remember that there's always lightness around you. Something to laugh at, even if it's ourselves, right? Releasing that right hand, slowly we roll it back to center. Let's lift that left foot to the sky, bending the knee, and we're going to pull that right leg in. Sole the foot to the sky. Knees are bent, and we're going to open up those knees, reaching up to the outside of the ankles, outside edge of your feet, and we're going to press that tailbone towards the earth, and we feel that length in the spine all the way up to the crown of the head and that beautiful stretch through the groin. Happy baby or dead bug, and let's rock it side to side. Ah, uh, just a fun, playful pose that if you weren't able to find a smile anytime during today's practice, hopefully you can find one here. You can let those legs gently play. Not so dead bug, very playful baby, whatever you like, coming back to center. And again, that gentle pull, that great stretch through the hips, into the spine, through the groin. Gently releasing, pulling those knees in towards your chest, placing your feet to the mat. And let's just gently open up those knees to reclined butterfly. Soles of the feet come together, hands resting on your hips, down by your sides, palms open to the sky, or you can even take those arms up and overhead. Just invite you to find a comfortable place for the arms to rest wherever that may be. And taking a moment to focus on your breath. Just gently moving through the body once again. 
checking in. You are welcome to stay here and recline to butterfly. Or if you are more comfortable, bring the knees together, heel toe your feet out like once toes are turned inward and let your knees gently rest against one another. Again, arm position is entirely up to you. Or perhaps you feel more comfortable in corpse pose with those legs nice and long and just relaxing throughout the body. Make whatever adjustments you need to make to find that comfortable place. And then we're going to give ourselves just a few moments to breathe. To draw that awareness inward and to really feel what energy is going on within us. Recognizing and acknowledging if there's any last little bit of negativity and just give yourself permission with your next exhale to get rid of it. We feel light, we feel calm, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of peace, feeling strong and aware present right here in this moment. As we move through our emotions through the day, we just want to make sure we don't get stuck anywhere. Move through the moments of your day and be present in those moments so you don't miss anything. Allow yourself to experience all the feels without judgment or criticism. And allow yourself to find that more positive space. Being mindful of the energy around you. And if you feel that pull of negative energy, you have the power to step away. Remove yourself from that energy. As our awareness is drawn inward, I want you to see within your mind's eye the color of a light. What color do you see? Is it cool or is it warm? Is it bright or is it soft? This light represents your life force energy today. As you've taken time just for yourself to become the very best version of yourself possible. To allow all of your amazing qualities to come forward and the gift of sharing them with the earth, with the world, with the universe. Let your light shine. Let your heart be open. Allow yourself to be happy. To hold on to that joy throughout the day. Relax. And just breathe. We gently wiggle our fingers, our toes, 
We turn the palms against the earth, feeling that grounding energy. Drawing one knee in towards your chest and then the other. A little rock side to side. And just noticing that shift of energy. Hopefully you have a smile on your face. A little lightness in your heart. And just feeling better. Coming back to center. Finding a way to come up to a seated position that works for you. We sit nice and tall. Rest your hands comfortably, close your eyes, and breathe. We bring the hands to heart center in a gentle tuck of the chin towards the chest and just a moment of gratitude for the ability to move, the gift of breath, the power of the shift of the energies. Recognizing the gift you are. Gently lift your face. Open those beautiful eyes. And just a humongous thank you for joining me today. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you have the most amazing rest of your day. Take care of yourself. Until the next time, light love and namaste.